Um, I don't know if you've ever wondered um, how you can create uh, little buttons like you, you get up here like with the Go Z button or the Slick button, you know, where you press them and they sort of bring up something useful. Well, um, I'm going to show you how to create a couple of very simple ones. Um, the first one's going to be a little button to turn global illumination on because I use GI all the time and it, you know, I find it quite tedious. You've got to go to the shader tree, select the render tab, then go to global illumination, click enable. So I quite like having a little button that I can just click and it's on and I can, you know, forget about it and carry on and do something else. So I'm going to show you how to go about this. So you're going to need to know where a couple of folders are. Um, they're very easy to find. If you go to the system menu, um, you can see it says open user configs folder. So if you open that, that will show you where all your custom configs are. And if you go back to system and it says open user scripts folder, it will show you where your custom script folders are. And you're going to need to save a script here. So um, you need to know where this folder is. OK, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to record a little macro for um, our GI on button. So I'm just going to quickly make a unit cube, um, switch over to the render tab. Let's position my camera roughly. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is get a layout palettes. And I'm just going to open the command history, stick it over here, just so I can see um, what commands are being fired while I record my macro. I don't want anything a bit, you know, a bit too weird in there. So I'm going to select my cube item. And the reason for that is I've debugged this script in the past and uh, it's better if there's no selection made at the start. So if I drop the selection, the script basically works better. Otherwise, sometimes it breaks. So I need to actually just deselect everything. Select my cube item and I'm going to go to system, record macro. First thing I'm going to do is just drop my selection. So you can see here it says select drop item, drop selection. And then I'm going to select my render item, go to the global illumination tab. I'm going to turn ambient to zero. And I am going to just enable um, global illumination. And then back in the viewport, I'm going to drop the selection. And now go back to the system menu and just untick recording macro. And now go back to the system menu again and save to file. Now give it a, a name. You can see the one I've created in the past is called Turn GI On. I'm just going to call this one GI On and just save it. OK. I can close the command history window now. It's a good idea just to go and have a look at the script. So I'm going to go to open user scripts folder and it's GI on. I'm just going to open it in notepad. Just have a quick look to see what uh, commands are fired. Where it says select paint, I'm just going to delete that. I think that's when I clicked in the viewport. All I want to do is to drop everything, save the script out and um, just in the Explorer window, I'm going to just copy the name to the clipboard because I'm going to need that for the next part of uh, the uh, tutorial. So now that we've recorded our little script, um, we need to go to System again, and this time to Form Editor. Now, this got a bunch of folders where all the Modo interface basically lives. So if you go to the bottom where it says New Group, you need to double click on that and we'll call it My Custom Buttons. So that's basically going to create a new folder. It's just a container for your stuff uh, for organizational purposes. And see where it says New Form, you need to double click on that and we're going to call this GI On. And uh, that's basically going to create a new form in which you're going to put your GI on button. So we need to change a couple of things. The most important thing is where it says layout. Um, we want that to be toolbar horizontal because it's going to go on this horizontal toolbar here. Um, and I'm just going to give it a tooltip GI, GI on. And that should do that for now. And where it says new control under your new form, um, if you click that and add command and what we need to do is put the at symbol and then paste the name of the script that we recorded and hit OK and that's essentially created a new button for you. You can also add uh, your custom icon so I'm just going to add the one that I'd already created and if you go back to the form itself there's a few things you need to change again so where it says icon mode let's have icon only 
and small icons, that's what I want, just make sure the layout's correct. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is to find where this um, toolbar is in the form editor. So if you go to the top left of the form editor, there's a button that says find form. Click that and then simply click where you want your button to go. And there you see there's a, something called the Modo Modes toolbar. So if you, you see there's another little plus sign there. If you open that, you should see it says head category and tail category. Um, head category is basically going to place your buttons here on the left hand side and tail category is going to place them here on the right hand side where the gozi and slick buttons are already. So the next thing you need to do is to find your form, not the button, but the actual form and drag it all the way down onto the tail category of the Modo Modes toolbar. So if you put it on tail category you should see the little button now appears next thing you want to do for good practice you need to save your form in your configs folder so we're going to call this GI on, I've already saved one earlier um, overwrite that now because this form is now in your configs folder it's going to automatically start I mean it's going to automatically load every time you start Modo and even if you update or trash your config that uh, config for that form is always going to be in your configs folder so it will always load until you actually delete that config itself so because we've got uh, everything already set up in the uh, configs folder and we're happy that everything works okay we should delete the form it's not going to let me sometimes it doesn't let you best practice is to delete your new form and restart modo the delete is grayed out for some reason, so I'm just going to restart Modo and check that everything works okay. So close it down, open it up again, and there you see my little button is there. So it would be a good idea just to check it works. So I'm just going to create a unit cube, plug that on. Now, if I hit my button, ta-da, GI is enabled. So that's the first button, and now we'll move on to the next one. The next button we're going to create is a toggle for select through. Um, and the nice thing about this button is that uh, when select through is active it's going to turn orange like these buttons do up here. So if we go to system, form editor and uh, go back to the folder that we created earlier, my custom buttons and double click where it says new form to create a new form. I'm going to call that select through um, and we need to change a couple of things. So uh, the layout is going to be toolbar horizontal and icon mode can be text only, icon size I think we'll go for large icon and underneath it where it says new control we're going to add a command now the command we're going to add and I got this uh, little piece of code from Matt Cox because I could never have done it by myself so thank you very much Matt um, the command is exclamation mark tool dot flag space x f r m dot transform space select space question mark so let's just ok that um, the exclamation mark at the, at the beginning is just to suppress a warning dialog in case you try and activate this when uh, there's no transform tool active and the question mark at the end is to is to operate the toggle so the label we want is select through and the boolean control style we need that to be toggle button we don't need a custom icon for this one, we're just going to do uh, the plain text. So now if you go back to your form, and same as before, click on the Find Form button and click on the Modo Modes toolbar. Make sure that uh, the little plus sign is open so you can see the head category and the tail category. Now grab your form as before and drag it down onto where it says Tail Category. Takes a little minute to get there. Tail Category. And having done that, now you save your form, so let's um, save form into your configs folder, let's uh, give it a name, select through, save that, and just click OK. Now you can see that our button has now appeared, so the next thing to do is to test if it actually works. So I'm just going to open the uh, tool pipe and make sure that my mesh item is selected. Let's. Uh, activate a transform tool, look in our tool pipe, select through is not activated. Now if I click on this it should turn orange and select through should be active and if I unclick it it goes back to grey and select through is no longer active. So basically you've just created a little toggle really useful for modelling.
I couldn't have made this tutorial without a bit of help. Um, I got uh, some help from Gwyn Reddick, one of the uh, Luxology developers, who basically explained to me how to use the form editor and how to save your custom forms in the configs folder. So thank you very much for that information, Gwyn. And uh, I also got uh, that uh, little script uh, from Matt Cox for uh, the select through button. So thank you very much, guys. And uh, thank you all for watching.